And uh, a little bit earlier, I caught up with the West Country's fundraiser of the year. That's Matt Way from Newquay. And I started by asking him what the ceremony was like. Oh, it was, a, it was a fantastic evening. I mean, what an experience. I mean, the other 17 finalists, uh, any one of us could have uh, won that night. And, um, yeah, to meet so many different people and to make some great contacts, it was a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience for us. It was, it was great. And it's a real feel-good event, isn't it? There's some really sad stories. There's always, a, always a, a tissue on hand because there never seems to be a dry eye in the house. But it's great to see the work that so many people are doing. It is, and for us, I mean, we, we went away totally inspired, and, and I think the other finalists felt the same listening to each other's stories. And then when you see what happened with the, the Grenfield guys that won various awards, and also, you know, some of the kids that were there that night, there's one in particular who's, he was so funny, um, and gave um, His Royal Highness Prince William a bit of stick, which was, which was great. So that's definitely, it's worth watching just for that tonight. It was really funny. But yeah, very inspiring evening, and I think everyone that, was there deserved to be there so laughter and smiles and some tears as well that we can expect to see tonight i remember when you got the award uh, you told our reporter claire that you didn't have any smart shoes and you've told me that you didn't you nearly forgot your ticket as well so how did you get on finding shoes and, and remembering your ticket well um, i did order some shoes the day before we were leaving much to my wife's dismay and when they arrived they didn't really fit properly so we had to go down oxford street and buy another pair just before we went to the event. So that, that saga seemed to continue. And then uh, actually just before we left, I said to Claire, because you, you were given this amazing little wallet here and it has like a ticket in, but also um, it has some instructions. I took both what I thought was our tickets out only to realize I'd taken my instructions out. So when I double checked, um, I realized the mistake. So luckily when we got onto the red carpet, we did have both tickets. So <laughs> I, I nearly didn't get in. Well, we're very glad that you did. And tell us about some of the people that you got to meet, because it's not just pe people who have been doing amazing fundraising work, but there's lots of celebrities. Did you get your photos taken with any of them? Yeah, well, my wife, Claire, seemed to have more photos than me. I seem to be holding the camera a lot that night, but um, where we were sitting was a great place. Everyone that went in there had to walk past us. So we were having photos with you know, different people, from uh, Peter Andre uh, to the guys from The X Factor, um, Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne, and we got photo bombed by Louis Walsh, which was quite funny. Um, yeah, there was so, so many stars. It was completely surreal. Great night. And just finally, what, what do you think makes it such a special event for so many people? Well, I think it's, it's a very well organised uh, event, and I think what the whole concept of it is to take all these amazing people from around the country and put them in one room for the night. And I, I know everyone gets a bit starstruck with the stars that were there, but the real stars of the show really were the people that were there for the awards. And uh, I think people should be proud to be British when they watch this tonight and really come away from that with so much bad press and bad things in the news at the minute. To watch this and see how people help those that need it the most, I think it's, it's just inspiring. It was an amazing night. Well, Matt, thank you for giving us some of your time. We think you're inspiring. We're very proud of you. And best of luck for all your events in the future. Thank you very much. That was Matt Way there. Great to see he had a good time. Glad he remembered his shoes and his ticket. <laughs> and his. Yeah, and if you want to see Matt and the rest of the finalists get their red carpet treatment, then you can see the Pride of Britain Awards here on ITV tonight at 8 o'clock.